Alright, so I'm sat with Harriet and Amul, who've been with us since day one, so what were you guys doing at the start and where are you now? Shall I go first? Go for it. Um, well, I was working in libraries um, for a few years after I'd finished doing my masters, um, but I wasn't particularly happy there and I'd been doing coding as a hobby for a while, so um, as soon as I saw North Coders open up, which was in April last year, so uh, sort of about, about a year and a half ago, um, yeah, I just signed up. Cool. What about you? What were you doing before? I spent the last 20 years in the music business, managing bands, running record labels, uh, going around the world, having a lot of fun, uh, I hit records, um, and but I sort of started getting fascinated with tech a couple of years before going on that first cohort and looking at sort of startups and setting up my own startup and someone said that I should learn how to code and I laughed at them and said I'm <laughs> going to be 40 this year, how the hell am I going to learn how to code? Um, but I randomly met Chris uh, at uh, a meetup and he talked me into the first cohort um, and that's how I got involved with North Coders. That's how it all began. Yes. <laughs> so did you do much coding before you started then? <laughs> Put it this way, I wouldn't get on the cohorts these days. <laughs> it's a much harder uh, uh, application process now. Yeah. How do, how do you think it's changed since when you guys were on the first cohort then? Well, it's grown. It's it's clearly grown. We were on the first cohort of what, 10? Yes. 10, so it felt pretty small. Yeah. Um, and the last cohort we had, uh, well, the cohort that we've got now has 28. So it's grown in size. We're in different premises. Um, and I suppose sort of as as um, we've sort of made a name for ourselves up here in Manchester, um, we've just been able to sort of raise the barrier of entry, raise the entry level, uh, do more exciting stuff. We've got lots more um, sort of interest, I guess, in the course now. Um, we get a lot of applications for, for every course, so we're able to really just take people who do really well at their interviews, uh, which means everyone gets sort of the best that they possibly can out of the course, just sort of coming in with a sort of a step up. It's like there's so many resources out there, I think this problem for a lot of people just sort of coming to it from sort of afresh is like, well where do I start? Like it's good that there are so many resources like for beginners and stuff, but it's also like you could do a bit here and a bit there and a bit all over the place, it's hard to sort of find a trajectory or a path through it all I think. So uh, yeah, I agree that the best thing you can do is just follow the sort of steps that we set out. Um, you know, just having some sort of path through all the different resources is helpful. Stick to that, get to the end. It definitely doesn't cover everything that's out there, but you don't need everything. You just need sort of one path through. That's If you follow that path, that's what we test on in the interview. We just test on literally what we've set out on that sort of PDF of resources. Um, and then at least you know, you know, you've approached this really hard stuff. You've um, had a couple of weeks, you've managed to absorb it and you can apply it in a different context and that's all we're sort of looking for. Yeah, I think that's really valuable because when I was first trying to teach, I was trying to teach stuff for like a year before I came to you guys and yeah. the amount of times I was just kind of, I'll try this resource and I'll go yeah, over to a different yeah. resource and you just end up in a complete mess and you're going yeah. over the same stuff six times in a row. Yeah, and you don't but, know what's important and what's yeah. like not. And we've got the Slack room as well, haven't we, with all the mm. like, people that are also preparing for the interview and I think that's, that's getting yeah. more and more popular yeah, and it's getting yeah. a lot of people helping each other in that, which is really yeah, good to see. Yeah, a lot of people help each other on that, that's really good to Yeah, see. so it's start the community, isn't it, which yeah. is something you guys have seen grow as well. Like with the summer yeah. party, that was massive. Like, yeah, our community's grown a lot, that's the big yeah, thing that's yeah. happened. I think I'm seeing the evidence of that having gone through the cohort and you see the hiring part of the talks that come in, like the end of your cohort, and you're getting, now you're getting North Coders come back. With, their, with the person they were hired by, and you're just hearing all these people that are talking good things to hire, that all the North Coders have been hired, and then they're coming back and helping hire the next generation. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, people have had, um, a few people have, have had promotions in their roles that they've got on the back of North Coders now, which is cool because they're going to be going from sort of junior developers up to mid level, and eventually there'll be people who are in contact with you and are hiring subsequent North Coders underneath them, which is. It's great. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Yeah. That is totally the dream to create this new pipeline of, of, of new style of developer that's been taught to write code in a really modern way, in a really kind of the, the good, so, you know, in a way that doesn't adopt any bad habits. And that's what we try and do at North Coders is, is basically take uh, someone who's passionate about learning how to code and teach them in an accelerated way how to, how to code in one language, JavaScript across the stack, um, and for them to realise they can learn one language really quickly and therefore pick up another language just as quickly because it's all about problem solving. Syntax isn't a thing that's a massive issue in that, you know, once you've learned how to code in 
in JavaScript. For example, all the people that have now gone to work at Access Pay, and there's five of them, now code in C Sharp and .NET. And they, they, we didn't teach them any C Sharp and .NET. They had to go away after the course, teach themselves enough C Sharp to be able to pass Access Pay's tech test. But we give you all the tools to be able to do that. Um, and then the idea is that a lot of these people that have been taught in the North Coders way are going to be in industry, sort of applying their trade, and, and we're just going to increase that number, both from Manchester and Leeds and across the North. Um, and uh, companies are going to look to us to, to increase their, their dev teams. The other thing that I don't think we covered, which would probably be helpful, was just talking about your involvement in North Coders at the moment and what it is you're doing nowadays. Um, so I'm the head of community um, and I'm also quite heavily involved in the part-time course. Um, which is launching in um, sort of a month and a half or so. Um, so as, as a head of community, um, what I do at the moment is um, sort of, I'm interested in making sort of the continuous experience of being a North Coder from like the moment you apply to all the way through to after you graduate and after you're in work sort of coherent and making sure that you have access to sort of other members of the community and that you feel sort of part of the fold as it were sort of immediately yeah. and afterwards because that's like the really strong sort of thing that we have um, that we can make a lot of use of um, is the sort of one of the sort of biggest resources really we have is each other um, other developers who are in work other people who are learning um, other people who've been through the course and so I'm interested in just making that sort of work for everyone um, and I'm also um, yeah like involved in the part-time course so I'll be quite active in that as well um, helping sort of mentors and mentees in their sort of relationship and helping out in the classroom and um, helping sort of deliver and produce content for it. So that's mostly what I'm doing at the moment. Cool. And the So about three quarters of the way through that first cohort, I kind of fell for what North Coders was about, uh, kind of what James and Chris's vision was, and I decided to invest a ton of money into the company. My own personal. I had this money set aside to set up a startup, and I was like, you know, what's the point of doing that? when I can actually invest in a business that's going to help the whole tech scene. Um, so I did that uh, back in sort of just after we finished that first cohort last year and it just helped out where I can really. I'm currently um, kind of supporting our grads into work so if I help them sort of meet companies coming in and so one of the things I say is so I used to manage musicians and now manage the rock stars of the future um, that's oh, my that's line so <laughs> glad you said that <laughs>